the ruling authorities attain mass compliance, not through force, but by supplying the masses with endless streams of distracting entertainment, and manipulating them with drugs and other technological methods. Huxley wrote Brave New World as a warning. Huxley wrote Brave New World as a warning. Advances in science and technology, he believed, were paving the way for the type of society depicted in this book. Huxley wrote Brave New World as a warning. And he cautioned that if a Brave New World type of order solidifies, it could be the final or ultimate revolution. The people will have their liberties taken from them. Huxley wrote Brave New World as a warning. They will enjoy their servitude, and so never question it. Huxley wrote Brave New World as a warning. Let alone rebel. In a 1962 interview at Berkeley University, Huxley explained, It seems to me that the nature of the ultimate revolution with which we are now faced is precisely this. Huxley wrote Brave New World as a warning. That we are in the process of developing a whole series of techniques which will enable the controlling oligarchy, who have always existed and will always exist, to get people to love their servitude. According to Huxley, this brave new world of totalitarianism was most likely to solidify in the 21st century. Huxley wrote Brave New World as a warning. Do we live in a brave new world? In Brave New World Revisited, Huxley wrote the following. Brave New World was being written, I was convinced that there was still plenty of time. The completely organized society, the scientific caste system, the abolition of free will by methodical conditioning, the servitude made acceptable by regular doses of caffeine-based happiness. These were coming, all right, but not in my time, not even in the time of my grandchildren. Twenty-seven years later, I feel a good deal less optimistic than I did when I was writing Brave Brave New World as a warning.